Sometimes emblems can be used to communicate quite complex, nuanced pieces of information. If you want to signal good luck, how would you do that non-verbally? You could do a little prayer, you could do a little thumbs up gesture. The classic, of course, is the cross fingers. In fact, I do know where that one comes from. There's a pretty standard theory that this is something that emerged in Christian cultures representing the crucifix. It's a sign to ward off bad luck. You've just done something stupid. What's the international signal for having done something stupid? I have no idea what the answer is. How would you communicate that non-verbally? It's kind of like, hands out, I've got nothing, right? You show that you've got nothing. You shrug your shoulders for reasons I've got no idea. Sometimes, if you really want to hammer it home, you might turn your mouth down. Kids are picking up on this very, very early. We don't go to school and learn this in English or anything. It's just something that we pick up from each other. There's emblems for saying someone's crazy, right? The cuckoo gesture, the throat slit gesture to indicate that you want to kill someone. Apparently in Swaziland, the throat slit gesture could mean I love you. You can see the potential for miscommunication there. We'll talk a bit more about cross-cultural miscommunication soon.